Hi, now I want to introduce you to this idea here where we've got say some base value A raised to a power M equals say the same base value A again raised to another power N. Then it follows from this result that the powers must be equal. And this only works if you've got two terms. You've got to have one term here on one side of the equals and one term on the other side of the equals. And we use this principle when it comes to solving some basic equations involving indices. Let me just give you an example. Suppose we're asked to solve the following for x, okay? We've got, say, 3 raised to the power 2x and it equals 9 raised to the power 5x plus 1. Now you can see that we've got two terms here. 3 to the power 2x is one term and it equals and we've got another term on the other side. But the problem is they're not to the same base. Okay, one's to the base 3 and one's to the base 9. Now to solve problems like this, what we can do is try and find a common base that we can work with. Now I know that 9 is the same as 3 squared, so I can work in base 3. So I can say that this is exactly the same, we'll put therefore, this is exactly the same as 3 to the power 2x for this term here, and it equals, now instead of the 9, we write that as 3 squared. And so that's my 9, and all of this is raised to the power 5x plus 1. Now we need to simplify this term, and we should be familiar with a rule that we discussed earlier, and that is that, uh, let's just come out off here, okay, that if you've got a to the power m, all raised to the power n. This was exactly the same as a to the power mn. Okay, so this is one that you should already be familiar with. So we can write this now as 3 to the power 2x equals, and we just multiply the 2 with 5x plus 1. So we've got 3 to the power 10x, two lots of 5x, and two lots of the 1 is the 2. So we've got 3 to the power 10x plus 2. Now we've got our two terms, both to the same base, and what we can say now is that the powers here must be exactly the same, using this idea here. So therefore, okay, we can just say that 2x must be equal to 10x plus 2. And now we've just got a simple linear equation which we can solve. Subtract 10x, say, from both sides, and that gives us 2x minus 10x, which is minus 8x, equals just the 2. Divide both sides now by minus 8, and you get x equals 2 divided by minus 8. And we end up with then x equaling minus 1 quarter. Okay? Give you another one to try. Okay, let's just uh, border this off here. Suppose you're asked to solve this one 16 to the power 5x plus 1 minus 8 to the power 2x minus 1 equals 0. So if you'd like to have a go at this, give you a moment just to pause the video, come back when ready, and you can check your work solution with mine. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. Well, first of all, what I notice is that I've got essentially three terms here. This one here, then minus my second term, 8 to the power 2x minus 1, and then my third term, it equals 0. And I did say at the beginning of this tutorial, you've got to reduce it to this kind of style, two terms. So I'm going to have to add this term 8 to the power 2x minus 1 to both sides. And if I do that, I therefore have 16 to the power 5x plus 1 equals 8 to the power 
2x minus 1. So I've got my two terms now. Next I notice they're not to the same base. We've got the 16 and the 8. So I need to find a common base that both 8 and 16 are powers of. Okay, What would that base be? Well, it's base 2. They're both powers of 2. 16 is 2 to the power 4. So I can say that this is 2 to the power 4 for 16. And it's all raised to the power 5x plus 1. And 8. 8 is 2 cubed. So we've got 2 cubed there. And this is all to the power 2x minus 1. Now I can just simplify each of these two terms by using this idea here. And so we've got, for this one, we've got 2 to the power, and we just multiply 4 with 5x plus 1, giving us 20x plus 4. And this is going to be equal to, and we do the same here, we multiply 3 with the 2x minus 1. So we've got 2 to the power 6x minus 3. So I've now got this in this form here. So the powers must now be equal. So therefore, what we have here is that 20x plus 4 must equal the power here, 6x minus 3. Again, we've got a simple equation. Just take away 6x from both sides, and I've got 20x take away 6x. That's going to give me 14x. And then if I take 4 from both sides, I'm going to have minus 3 minus another 4 is minus 7. Divide both sides now by 14, and you end up with x equaling minus 7 over 14. And that reduces down to x equaling minus a half. OK, well, I hope it's given you an idea of how we can go about solving equations like this, where we reduce them down to two terms, must share the same base, and then we go on to equate the powers.